This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by GoToAssist. With holiday shopping season just around the corner and a ton of new phones up for sale, we thought it was a perfect time to bring out PC Mag's master of mobile phones, Sasha Sagan. Welcome back, Sasha. Thanks for having me back. Are you dried out at this point, post-Hurricane Sandy? Yeah, our parts of New York City, I mean, where, where we work and where I live are uh, dry and functioning. There's still parts of town that are recovering, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not the places I hang out. That's a good one. That's helpful, actually. I mean, was, did mobile performance, I mean, was it pretty much just shut down by, by I'm going to call it now Superstorm Sandy, since I think that's what uh, the media is officially calling it. I mean, you know, power goes down. How long does mobile stay up at that point? Well, that's the thing. Some cell sites do have a battery backup, but of course the battery backup may not necessarily be waterproof. And uh, after the storm, the FCC estimated that 25% of the cell sites in uh, the areas hit by the storm in the 10 state area were knocked out. So these were big chunks of the cell network that just went down because uh, they either got lost power or were flooded out. So it, 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 as somebody who only uses a cell phone, it, it almost makes me want to get a landline back in my house just to have sort of something that's less likely to go out in a storm, except, of course, I've had storms take out phone lines, so I'm going to shoot an arrow in that idea. We, exactly. If a tree takes down the power lines on your block, it might be taking down the phone lines, too. Was any carrier, was any carrier dealing with the fallout from the storm any better than any other, or was it just kind of like the, the storm hammered all carriers equally? The storm did hammer all carriers equally, but uh, two, two approaches were worthy of note. First of all, Verizon uh, very aggressively uh, got a lot of cell sites back online, but also T-Mobile and AT&T made a deal to share each other's sites and spectrum. So uh, through that unusual cooperation, T-Mobile and AT&T could pretty quickly make their customers, give their customers access to a bigger network because it was the two networks joined. That may be the nicest thing, outside of performance in network testing, that may be the nicest thing I've heard you say about AT&T in, in several years. <laughs> well, ages ago, actually, AT&T and T-Mobile had, uh, had these uh, roaming and network rental agreements where uh, AT&T would use T-Mobile's network in one city, T-Mobile would use AT&T's in another city, and that, of course, fell apart when everybody wanted to be a national network on their own. So it was like a, a, a flashback to a... a cooperative pass there. A kindler, gentler era. Nokia 920, is this the Windows Phone 8 to beat? Feature-wise, absolutely. I mean, the Nokia 920 has this incredible screen, really deep colors on the screen. It has that optical image stabilization in the video camera, really takes the jitter out of, uh, out of your videos. Very good camera, more than 8 megapixels. Uh, it, it's, it's got it, it's definitely top on features. The thing about the 920 that I called out is it is a very big, heavy phone. Mm -hmm. And so if you like smaller devices, you're really going to want to go for the HTC 8X instead. The 8X doesn't quite measure, measure up to the 920 on features, but I found it much more comfortable to hold, so it became a kind of personal taste decision there. Well, there's nothing wrong with personal taste, especially, I mean, I got to say, people are either really into things, you know, like the Galaxy Note 2, or it, it feels like a lunch tray, or they're not. Um, yeah, you could think of the 920 as the Galaxy Note of uh, Windows phones in that, you know, so if size and weight are no object, mm -hmm. you are getting the ultimate performance here. Okay, and the HTC model that you, you prefer at this point? The HTC 8X okay. um, is just very well designed. It's a beautiful device. It's got a 4.3 inch screen, a very nice soft touch back. Um, it's, it costs a little more than the 920, but you get very similar performance, same screen resolution, same processor in what I felt to be a much smaller, lighter package. Cool. So we're heading into the holiday shopping season. You got some picks for the best smartphones? Well, there's some great stuff that's hitting, that's hitting the market right now. Right before the show started, for instance, we were talking about Google's Nexus 4. And if you're a T-Mobile subscriber, I've got to say the Nexus 4 is just a uh, absolutely slamming phone for T-Mobile. It hits T-Mobile's fastest network. It's got and will have for the next two years the most current version of the Google uh, Android OS. It'll always get Android updates before anyone else. Um, it's really reasonably priced for an unlocked phone, and that lets you use T-Mobile's value plans, which are cheaper per month than the regular plans. So the Nexus 4 on T-Mobile, that's a great buy. On Verizon, we're seeing this HTC Droid DNA hit right now. Mm -hmm. uh, 
very interesting phone. Highest density screen in the business, 443 pixels per inch. Wow. That is an amazing screen. Yeah, the Droid DNA uh, definitely looks like a very good phone. Um, on AT&T and uh, Sprint, well, we've just seen the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the iPhone 5 continue to chug along. I mean, those two phones have been out for a couple of months, but they are uh, they're winners for a reason. They are, to some extent, the best that, uh, that Android has to offer in the Galaxy S3. Um, and the iPhone 5 is an, it's an excellent device, very usable, uh, very easy, great screen. If you want to save a little money, whether you're buying a phone for a parent or for a child, would you say go for the previous sort of uh, Samsung Galaxy or iPhone, or, or are there any sort of low-end uh, brands you're, you're finding good, uh, good things from? There are some less expensive smartphones that we rate really well. Uh, the Pentec Flex on AT&T, for instance, it's uh, lists at 49 uh, so that's a really good buy there. The LG Motion on Metro PCS works with Metro PCS's super cheap plans, and it's a lot of smartphone for $149 prepaid. So uh, if you go on PCMag.com, you can find uh, some pretty good recommendations for lower cost phones as well. Thank you so much. Hey, I, I got to ask one thing before we go. This week, <laughs> the BlackBerry 10, BlackBerry 10 is coming January 30th, you know, after CES, after the holiday shopping season, suddenly there's news on the BlackBerry front. Is there anything there or is this just the last gasp of a dying brand? Ooh, that was harsh. <laughs> I think BlackBerry really needs to prove itself to us now. I mean, we don't know how well this is going to work. We don't know if this is going to work. So BlackBerry 10 does look intriguing. They've got some really cool features there. But I wouldn't say that it brings the world to a halt. I wouldn't say that it should uh, stop anyone from buying anything else. Hey, if the market and it's great, it'll do well. But uh, it's time for BlackBerry to prove itself to us, not the other way around. That would be a good plan. Sasha, excellent, excellent information as always. PCMag.com is where you can find all of Sasha's work. Anything coming up in the next week we should point folks towards, Sasha? Oh, we've got a ton of reviews coming out soon. I've got uh, the latest Nexus 7 with cellular data on my desk. Uh, we've got that Droid DNA uh, that we're doing a full review of right now. Um, there's just a, a lot of great phones and tablets that are coming up on uh, PCMag.com. Sasha, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Working in IT, you're constantly jumping one problem to the next problem to the next problem to the next problem, and every issue needs to be solved fast so every minute counts. Don't waste your time juggling different tools and duplicating data entry. Use GoToAssist from Citrix, the leader in remote support. You'll have the tools you need integrated into one easy-to-use platform so you can work faster and more efficiently. GoToAssist includes three essential support tools that you can customize for your needs. The GoToAssist service desk lets you log incidents and track the resolutions. No more emails that can get lost or miscommunications. GoToAssist monitoring practically identifies issues you can fix before they become giant career-ending problems. Why wait for problems to come to you when you can nip them in the bud before they start? Remote support means live or unattended support to any PC or Mac or mobile device from anywhere to anywhere to resolve the issues quickly. Say goodbye to crosstown drives or endless rides up and down the elevator. You can remotely identify and fix support problems from the comfort of your very own desk. GoToAssist is from Citrix, a trusted leader in IT. If you're still not convinced, you should try it out free for 30 days. Experience all the benefits of GoToAssist free of charge. Just visit GoToAssist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code TECHZILLA. GoToAssist.com, try it free, and use the promo code TECHZILLA. It'll make your life in IT a lot less painful.